it looks fairly kind of stable at the mo at the moment. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Breakfast Stream. Um, the last Breakfast Stream of Japan of of the trip, and um, let's let's start out by saying a happy birthday to Aksumei. <laughs> happy birthday, Aksumei. Uh, I was we, we we're getting everything set up. We have the chat pulled up. And uh, it's Alex May's birthday, so happy birthday! I hope your your birthday is wonderful and that you've had a full night's rest. Because I'm on the other end of that spectrum where like I've had a full day and my feet hurt, <laughs> and it's really weird to do breakfast stream essentially like in reverse. Because I'm it's we, it's normally like we've just gotten up. <laughs> Toast is the bread. Bread's coming out of the toaster, and now it's like different. It's like I'm done walking. <laughs> done. I have I have walked so so much. Um, God, there's been a lot. Oh my eye is driving me nuts. Yeah, you're. Um, I'm about ready to go take my contacts out. Yeah, your eye. You you. I'm gonna do that. You okay. do you do your thing. Okay. When you come back, we'll talk about your. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Stuff. Mal got some stuff. She got it the other day, but we went into a store. And I got more stuff. And you, got, <laughs> and she got more stuff. So we're gonna talk about some of the stuff. Um, so uh, first off, hi. Uh, this is the um, this is the last breakfast stream in Japan. We've had a good time, um, and we're still here for uh, for two more days. Um. The first two we did in the den, living room, living room. of the uh, of the Airbnb, and then the last one we did in Kyoto, and uh, this one we're back in the Airbnb, but I'm doing it up in our our bedroom, because um, everyone was downstairs and they were watching stuff, and I didn't want to be like, hey, stop, <laughs> don't you dare watch anything, <laughs> it's time for the stream, so um, they're still they're still watching stuff. Uh, the, the only downside to this room is that this room is cold, really, really cold. This room has absolutely no heat. There's no insulation. There's no insulation. It, this room is frigid. Very cold. Do you want your hoodie? No, it, just sit next to me. <laughs> Give me one snuggle, please. We actually, um... The, the very the very first night we were in here, um, we woke up halfway through the night, and Mal and I were just like, um... <laughs> Jess says, you can come downstairs if you want. Well, when I was down there, everyone was watching stuff, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't want to be like, stop. <laughs> Thomas <laughs> says, tour. Stop watching. Well, that's hard, um, because the minute this gets too far away from pocket Wi-Fi, it will die. And also, there's parts of the house where the pocket Wi-Fi doesn't work very well. Mm -hmm. So if I if I have the pocket Wi-Fi with me, <laughs> I have my doubts about what um, can be accomplished. Um, but anyway, yeah, the the first night we woke up like halfway through the night and we were both like freezing cold. Yeah, and we tried to turn on our heater and it does not work. No, it it does AC real good, which it doesn't need because this room is like, you know, an igloo. But uh, the other bed, because there's two beds in here. We're the only we're the only people in here. But there's two beds in here. There's no sheets on the bed, because Alex and Haley didn't have sheets on their bed, so they took these sheets. But they left the comforter, so we've actually been sleeping under two comforters, and it's the only way, two comforters and our own body heat to stay warm in this room, because this room is um. It was either that or find wherever the futons are and sleep in the traditional. Too room. much effort. But that too room is also too much cold. Effort. Yeah, yeah. The honestly, the only room in the house that's not cold is the living room. And it's because the heater is on. Yeah, and I, I think it's because there's a a little wall heater, mm -hmm. and when you that room's already pretty warm, and when you turn that on, it gets toasty. It's nice, but then you 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 chill there, and then it's time for bed, and you come up here, and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm so cold. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, one of the things I was I was going to talk about. Oh, you want to show off my stuff? Yeah, so... So did we show this the other day? No, I don't think we did. Um, so we didn't show this? Or the, or the belly warmer? 
or the Blue Did we talk about that? Did we talk about this? Someone uh, will know. Sorry, you guys have to understand, like... No, ev- it wasn't shown. Every... Thomas says we've seen nothing. Every single day has felt like two days. Mm-hmm. So it's really, really difficult. I think the only thing we did in Kyoto is we talked about the the print. Oh, the print, which um, is over there. And, and actually, I, I, I just remembered that I, I need to download the VOD mm-hmm. from Twitch and post it on YouTube because I haven't done that yet. I've, just, I've been really busy. Can you grab so. that uh, white bag? The white bag? The white gift bag. Yeah. Thank you. What's in it? It's the other stuff I bought. Wait, what other stuff? The other stuff I bought. You don't, bought? Don't worry about it. Okay. You got it? We didn't show any of this? No, I guess I mean, not. everyone was saying no, so I guess... Okay, okay so, um... I'm gonna do, yeah, a, a quick explanation uh, about some of this stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> how far back should I go? We met because of Earthbound. Um, Earthbound slash some other series is created by uh, a, a, a dude, a dude, a dude uh, named Shigesato Itoi, and um, Itoi is uh, famous in Japan for all sorts of reasons. Uh, he was a famous copywriter, uh, actor, um, television personality. Voice actor. Um, he's done all these things. Mother is a really tiny side gig for him. In the states, we know him as. Oh, he made Earthbound. That's really cool. Cool. Yeah, I love it. But in Japan, everyone's like, oh, yeah, he did that once. But also, he's done all these other things that we care about. Um, actually, since it's relevant to what we did today, so it's, since we went to the Ghibli Museum today, he was the voice of the father in Totoro? Totoro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he was, the vo- he was the voice of the dad. So if you watch the subbed version of that, the Japanese version, the mm-hmm. voice of the father is Shigesato Itoi, the creator of the Mother series. Anyway, so Mother 3 came out a long time ago, um, and since then, he's done things. He has his own company um, that he had even before Mother 3 came out um, called uh, Hobonichi. And Hobonichi... um, Does many things. Does many things. Itoi is a very eccentric person, and they... uh, they saw all sorts of weird, jam. bizarre stuff. Like they, yeah, they sell jam, various jams. They sell popcorn, but their their claim to fame in the last like decade or two are these day planners called techos. Well, techo is the word for planner. Well, sure. So it's Hobonichi, which is the company techo. So Hobonichi techo, and well, the actual techo is inside. Sure. So, like, this is a page. Sure. And this is the regular planner. This is the, well, the English version. But because it is still Etoy's thing, they sell designs that are based on Earthbound. Um, And they've been doing that, you know, for the past decade and a half or whatever. So every year there is a wide variety of covers that you can get for these day planners. There's one of his old dog on it for mm-hmm. this year and I love it so in addition to all these different designs there's always one that's inspired by Earthbound so Mouse had a few over the years and she didn't have one for 2019 and we, we went to the actual store because there's a um I'm just gonna hit no on that <laughs> not right now um there's an actual physical location for this and Mao got the uh, the Earthbound Techo for this year, which is really there's neat. There's a few. There's two this year. Three this year. Are there three? Oh, there's yeah, there's this, this one, one the and then there's... The red one that matches this, and then yeah. there's the Weeks one that has something else on it. It just has the Mother 2 logo, like, plastered all over it. Mm, no. Yeah. Did it? I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. So, anyway. So, yeah, there's... Uh, so, I got this one. That. So Mal got this. And the back has them mushroomized. Yeah. So it's 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 And it's that's cute. the cover. Like but you just buy that separate. So people use these for a variety of uh a variety of things. I use mine like a bullet journal, but also kind of like a scrapbook. Yeah. Um It's it's a cool way to quickly look back through the year. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah. If you've never heard of these, 
uh, they are available. You can get you can get them online. Yes. Is it eleven o one dot com? Be. It might be. I think so. Or you can just type in Hobonichi Techo. Um, actually, when we were last in Japan, uh, our our tour guide essentially was Lindsay Nelson, um, or Lindsay Moore. I guess yeah. I should say Lindsay Moore now. Uh, and uh, she actually works for Etoy and has worked with him for a long time to make the English version of this book. Um, so, like, the entire site is in English, and, like, you can get the book in English, and that's largely due to her contributions, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, if, you, um, if you've if you never heard of them, they're really cool, and if you are a fan of Earthbound, there's Earthbound covers every every year. So that was that. So we went into. I can't believe we didn't talk about this. So we the other went night. into the um, Techo store, which is called Tobichi in Kyoto. Mm-hmm. We've been to the one in Tokyo last time we were here, but we were like, "Well, there's a new one in Kyoto. Let's go there. We're gonna be there." So we went in, and we were looking through the stuff. And once the ladies knew we were there for Mother merchandise or Earthbound, yeah, then they had to bring it all to us, and they were like, "Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this thing!" And I yeah. was. And I was like, oh, I'll take that, oh, I'll take that. Yeah, I mean, and you have to understand that uh, obviously there's a language barrier too. So, like, we're going in and we're just kind of picking up things and looking at them. And uh, Mao, I, I think I think how it all started is that they had the belly warmers. Yeah, these. And the um, haramaki. Haramaki. Do you want to explain what it's, the crap that a, is? <laughs> it's basically a leg warmer for your stomach. And they were big... And they sell leg warmers, too. And they were big a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And Itoi kind of brought them back into style, like, a decade ago or so, by selling them. And, of course, there have been designs with, you know, mother stuff yeah. on them. so look at this one. So there's earthbound belly warmers. And, um... The, the, the thing that was interesting is that when Mao was looking through them... They didn't have any that were earthbound. So when we first went in, we were just kind of looking through the store, and then she saw the belly warmers, and I was like, oh, man, you know, they might have some of the earthbound stuff. So she's looking through, and uh, she goes up to the, the Well, the person lady was the... trying to help me with sizes and stuff. There was um, Rockman. Wasn't there? Was there? There was some other video game character. Uh, I don't know. Pro- probably, probably not Megman. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think remember. Megman. But, but I something. asked the lady if they had mother. Well, then... you... you, you you said Dose san. Yeah. Because uh, that's Mr. Saturn's name in um, Japanese. Mm-hmm. And uh, she goes, oh. So she run- She goes to the back and then she comes out with that. And Mao's mm-hmm. like, oh, oh, okay, great. So then after we did that and we start going over to the, the techos and we're like, oh, man, look look at the, the, the design of the Earthbound techo. Then the, mm-hmm. the, the two girls that were in there that were the staff – they just started picking up everything mother related and bringing it over like mother mother well, well they, mother they and we're like me, yeah well they brought me the pencil board yeah and i was like yeah look at that i think the only thing they brought me that i didn't get was the week's planner yeah because i didn't want to have the regular day planner and yeah. the weekly planner i don't need two i i think um I think the, the, the thing that was that's interesting to me is, like, of course they sell that stuff in the Hobo Nichi store, mm-hmm. which which is called Tobichi. So, like, you can go to the store and they have all this stuff because that's where they sell it. But the interesting thing is that Mal got that the other day when we were in Kyoto, but we were in a big department store. Today. Today called Loft, and they sell that stuff there, too. So it's just a... I guess it's a very novel idea to me as a Westerner um, and an Earthbound fan that you can go into a department store and there's essentially official mother merchandise there. And it's just neat. <laughs> you know, it's it's something that we don't have in the States. Can I show off my other cool stuff? Um, but, you know, they have here, so. So when you buy, like, the whole planner set, you get a, a pen, a multicolor pen. Mm-hmm. So this was the one that came with it this year. And every year it's a different color. Yeah. One of mine is blue and the other is yellow, I think. And um, I wanted a green pen because there's no green on that. And I always do drawings with my days. And um, I always have green. Like, I need green for leaves and stuff. So we went into the <laughs> department store. green for leaves. We went into Loft. Mm-hmm. And they had these pens. 
but you can pick what colors, so you buy them all separate and you put it together and then you have whatever colors you want. So I got a lot of colors that I yeah. didn't have in this one. I, I, and honestly, that's really cool because I, I think people can probably identify um, or, or have memories of, of, of a product similar to this mm-hmm. where you, you have a pen that's got all these little pens in it. But the idea that you get to make your own is really neat. Like, you can choose the colors because... So, well, because this is black, blue, and red. Yeah. Um, I picked, like, a lighter blue, and I picked green and pink and purple and orange, yeah. I think. There's five colors in there. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a really neat idea because, um, I mean, if you're doodling, like, you know the colors you're going to want, you know? You don't want to have to get uh, one that comes with a color and you're like, I really don't need this. I'm never going to use this. Um, so instead you just buy the shell and you buy the colors you want and then you put them in yourself. And that's what Matt was doing right before we started the stream. So I'm really excited about this. (laughs) Thomas says, I want them all to be black. Oh, Thomas will appreciate these stickers I got. Um, they had stickers that were, um, a bunch of different things in Japan and they were all Shiba Inus, the Shiba dog. So like, yeah, they're, they're super they're, cute. They're very big in Japan, which so may have already been obvious. On my days. And what else did I get? I got some new washi tape. This one has constellations on it. It's kind of probably hard to see. And this one's just black. Yeah. You didn't see all the things I bought, did you? No. I spent too much money. They also had these um washi tape like pre-cut ones. So like there's cats on this one. And then this one has some space stuff, but I, I don't know. That one was neat. And then this one was all like silver hollow, so it was good. So it was good. It was good. And then they That's had the these. Did you see these that I got? These are um, Hobonichi brand things, and they're basically giant clear stickers. That you put in your techo and you can like put like tickets inside to keep them in your techo. Oh, that's neat. So I bought two packs because they were ten in each. Those were the so you're I you're bought. outfitted for for yeah. using using your techo again. Yeah. It's um yeah it's fun it it's it's not uh, it's not for everybody you know I I when Mal started using a techo um, a few years ago she had asked me if I wanted one and I was just like. I I won't keep up with it, and I know I won't, so I'm just not gonna bother. But um, it's it's a fun way to look back, and and people use it differently. Some people just write in it straight up as a journal. Mm-hmm. Um, Mal likes to do bullet points and little doodles, and uh, one of the things she would do is if she took like an interesting photo or something on her phone, she yeah, would actually I'll print the photos and she, she would in. yeah she would print them like tiny, and then paste them into the book Mm -hmm. and it's it's a really cool look back you know when you're done with a year to actually go back and the book gets thick you know it's really hard to even close the book by the end of the year if you're putting stuff in it but it's essentially like an ongoing scrapbooking project Mm -hmm. and it's really neat so this was the other thing we got at the (laughs) tobichi store brandon says some people make a daily vlog yeah that's 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 my thing uh yeah we also picked up this book um this is uh, a, it's basically a photo book. It's kind of like a memories book of uh, Shigesato Itoi's dog, Bullion. Um, Itoi just loved this dog, like adored this dog. And Mao and I have this weird, like some connection with the dog also. And it's very hard to explain, but the gist of it is many years ago, many, many years ago, um, Itoi was posting about uh, his dog on his blog. And, you know, this was back when information on, on everything was, you know, fairly scarce. And uh, to to see the creator of your favorite game series, like, posting stuff is a big deal. So we would follow it. Um, the entire Starman.net community would. And uh, there was always pictures of Bullion. Always. Like every day. Like every day. Like the the dog was Etoy's world, more or less. And um Bullion passed away late last year, I think. I think so. I think it was late last year. And it was like heart wrenching 
for for each way um, there was a, there were social media posts that was like it was a it was a big deal um, it was a big deal I, I remember there's a there was a post where like Boyan had passed and like Itoy's just laying next to Boyan mm-hmm. and it had had been laying there for like two days or something like he just couldn't let it go anyway so um they released this uh photo book of basically all these posts from like the past decade nearly of mm-hmm. uh just fun happy times of like Itoy and his dog <laughs> and there were little like statues all over Tobichi Mm-hmm. And I pointed the first one I saw out to you, and I was like, "Oh, bouillon," and the ladies kind of all started making little noises because they they knew we recognized the dog. Yeah. So that I think they they were like, "Oh, they know the dog." Yeah. These Americans who came into our store up like six flights of stairs in an hour and a breath. Yeah. So, so yeah, we we picked up the book too. Um, you know, I fl- they had a sample copy there, and I flipped through it. Because I was like, well, I want to make sure that we can... It's not just text. Yeah, and um, it's it's pictures. It's mm-hmm. just nothing but pictures. And there's descriptions that are in Japanese. Um, but, I mean, you can obviously get what's going on for most things just from the, the images. And mm-hmm. It was nice. It, and it's that's the sort of thing that's kind of a bizarre item that not everyone's going to be able to relate to. But, like, the fact that I've I've seen so many pictures of this dog over the past, you know, 10 or 15 years, um, I felt a weird connection to the dog. And, and when the dog passed, it hurt me too. I was like, oh no, <laughs> like Itoy loved that dog. So yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy we picked it up. I gotta think for Thomas. I know he's in chat. You gotta, I don't know you if I should spoil Thomas. it though. I may need to, I may need to wait. I don't even know what you got, Thomas. He says, no, return it. No, Thomas, I'm not returning it. I wouldn't even know how to return something in Japan. Just <laughs> take it to the counter and go, mm, just push it back. Thomas, when do we see you next? Probably months. Yeah. Give it to the needy, Thomas. Give it to Thomas because Thomas is needy. Um, May, okay. Okay. Sounds sounds good. When in May, that's actually important to know, for a few reasons. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. Have we so, lost um, that? Now it's what. What's happening at the end of May? No. Or the beginning. No. We I'm, can announce I'm, the I'm, beginning for sure. Yeah. Because that came I'm out not gonna today. Or I'm not going to talk about the end okay. until I get things in my own life figured out. Oh God. Um, but the the beginning. Um, yeah, Coliseum's officially been announced, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, they didn't announce where it was, so I'm not going to say. Um, that'll just become evident when the vlogs come out. Um, but yeah, Coliseum's a thing, um, and, and that's exciting. I have not seen anything about it. Like, I, I hear that there's a trailer, and uh, MC asked everyone to, like, post about it. And I haven't because I'm in Japan and I'm busy and I'm on the he other side of the world. He knows you're here, though. Because we had a meeting the other day and I went to the meeting and you slept. I slept. <laughs> um, I was very tired. So, yeah, um, at some point I'll... <laughs> You'll do your video. I'll announce that. I don't even... I've been rather disconnected from the, the whole thing um, lately just because there's been... It's been a whole lot going on. Um, yeah, Tyler apparently did not manage to make the meeting. You were asleep, but we all got on Discord and we were like, where's Tyler? And then someone was like, oh, Tyler's streaming. So we started jumping in his chat and bothering that him. That boy, all you gotta do, and this is so, it's so easy. Everyone's got a smartphone that you can talk to. You can speak to your phone like a person. And you can tell it to remind you of a thing. <sighs> And it just remembers for you. Is that not the best? Oh, Carlos all, is here. That's all we need phones for. Hi, Carlos. That's all you need phones for. I go, I go, I go to the doctor, and I'm leaving the doctor, and they're like, "You have a follow up appointment on the 14th at two. Is that okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's okay." And the first thing I do is, is I say, "Phone, remind me, I have this appointment," and then I'm set. And it reminds me the day before. It's the best 
it's literally the best thing about the phone, other than the fact that you have the entire knowledge of the human race in the palm of your hand at any point. That's also important. But otherwise, reminding you about doctor's appointments, appointments and stream meetings. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Tyler, you're not using your phone for all it's worth if you're not asking it asking your robot assistant to do things for you um because that's single-handedly one of my favorite things about it anyway we're not mentioning the end of the month thing not yet yet. not yet i want to get it's and also it's painful it's actually it's it's still very painful so i I don't want to deal with it yet um uh, they'll know soon enough but thanks for bringing it to your attention thanks for bringing it up sorry so everyone (laughs) gets all like what's happening don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, there will be an announcement <laughs> at some point in the near future. Um, but I'm I'm trying to make sure I've got things squared away so when I announce it, I can be like, look, here's the announcement. And everything's fixed. So there's no reason to worry about anything. Um, yeah. 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 We're fine. We're fine. We're fine here. How are you? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I I do have I do have the alerts pulled up. I'm not gonna read the subs. Um, I'm I'm am just I I told myself I'm just saving subs, till we get back to the states and I got my normal setup. But I will read I will read uh, bits and there was uh, 290 bits. It came from Tanny Meters. It says I made another breakfast stream because work at 10 a.m. But I ride the bus so I gotta be up by 7 a.m. Tanny, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's actually the only bits. So, <laughs> so I don't have to read any more bits. But Tanny, I appreciate it sincerely. Thank you. Um, we are on the other side of the world, but... Uh, yeah, it is time for the Patreon ticker. It's that time for for chat to type in all the names. <laughs> Let it rip, chat. I, I Honestly, I, I I appreciate it. Oh, okay. I said... Cool. My phone just said coffee. I said coffee. Coffee. That was that was three hundred bits from Squid of Baconator. I just felt like seeing this. So I'm I I've appreciated the novelty of the phone. Um it's terrible. It everything about it's terrible. And uh, one of the downsides is that what you guys see on Twitch is not what I see on the screen at all. Like I thought it was the first time. And then I downloaded the VOD, and I was like, oh my god, this is completely different. Um, and it's a real shame, but yeah, you guys are actually seeing something wildly different. And uh, it's kind of kind of fun, but only fun for like two weeks. I'm really looking forward to getting back to the normal setup. Um, it's it's going to be like the, the quality improved. But really, it didn't improve. It just got worse when we used the phone. It's not like it's getting better. It's just going back to, to normal. To butt in quick. Yeah. Carlos asked how my Japanese comprehension has been. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes really good, and sometimes I really forget words, and I'm, like, trying to dig back from over ten years ago, and I can't remember a word. Or I'll think of it in French, and then it's... I can't think of anything else but the French. The French word for something. I mean... And, like, I, I had been going through Duolingo in the last year or so, but, like, things fell apart, and work that I couldn't continue with it and get through it. Yeah. So I wish I would have, but I mean you don't need it to be here. Like Steven knows like five words <laughs> and he does just fine on his own. I mean, and yeah. You're learning more. I'm not. You you asked I earlier. Don't... You said, well, "Can I use this?" And I said, "Yeah, you can use that for that." That was a new word. I don't remember <laughs> it, so it doesn't matter, but uh yeah, I, I I'm I don't I am not the shining example of how to approach Japan, but I do want to give people hope that if, you know, if you're you're really interested in um, Tokyo, if you're really interested in Akebara, and you're interested in seeing, like, all sorts of arcades, and, and you want to come here and spend time, and you're like, oh god, I don't know the language at all, is it possible for me to survive? The answer is yes. Like, will you have a better time if you have a grasp of the language? Well, obviously. Like... <laughs> Like, of course, you know, if you can have, if you can carry a conversation with someone like that is going to drastically improve your situation. Mm -hmm. But I do want people to understand that it's not 
a requirement, you can get by. I really do only know like five words or something. And it's great. You know, like thank you and hi. Yeah, honestly, honestly, the only words I use, really, the only words I use are arigato. Seriously, that's it. That's the only thing I say. (laughs) When I go to the store and I buy a thing, I give them my money and they, they say arigato and I say arigato. And then they put the stuff in the bag and they give me the bag and I say arigato gozaimasu. And I walk out and that's it. And it's fine. It's fine. And there hasn't really been, hasn't really been a situation that I've needed anything else. (laughs) Sometimes when I approach a counter, I'll say, Kanichiwa. But I usually don't. Usually I say, hi. (laughs) Because it's just innate. And like, also, most, most Japanese people, like, they know some English words. You know, a lot of a lot of times uh, the Japanese people will tell they'll tell me thank you because they know I'm English and they know that word. So, and it's fine. It's fine. Again, if you take the time to like learn some stuff, would it improve your situation? Sure, sure, absolutely. But if you don't, you'll it'll be it'll be fine. When we were at Ghibli this morning, um, I was answering the lady in Japanese because she was asking how many we had and stuff, and she. And then she asked if I wanted a Japanese guide in Japanese. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, "Ego," and she gave me the English one, <laughs> which was very helpful. Yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely times I, it would have been more beneficial, f- to to know some level of the language. Mm-hmm. Um, there was uh, when I bought some games in Kyoto. Um, I'm buying I'm buying GameCube stuff, so I took the GameCube stuff to the counter, and the guy asked me a question and I just you know I have no grasp of the language at all and I was just trying to think contextually what did he ask me why what would he what's he trying to you know convey and um, he like tried to reword it with other Japanese words and I'm like that's not and I wasn't near you I was and Mal wasn't there so I was just like Ugh. I was like I'm sorry you know and I could have gotten out the like the translate app because that's a thing you can do. You can get out the translate app and they can like speak into it. But that's like a lot of work. And I was just trying to think like, what does this guy need other than my money? Finally, it dawned on me what he was trying to say. Um, he was trying to let me know, or, or trying to make sure that I knew that the GameCube games I was buying wouldn't work in an American GameCube. And then when I finally got it, I was like, oh, I was like, hi, 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 hi. Like yeah yeah I get it. I didn't know how to say I understand so I was just like hi 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 and he and then he was like okay cool and then I bought the the games, um, but yeah like that the, but that's the only time like every time I've bought uh, quite a bit of GameCube games at a variety of locations here, and in Kyoto at that small game store was the only time they ever tried to tell let, you that yeah, and it was just really confusing for me because I had no idea what they were saying I was like what are you saying trying to figure it out and then finally it's like Merrick oh that's what he means it's like yeah it's cool don't worry about it no problem I do want to say like it's it's helpful if you're with someone who has been there before or knows some stuff because there's some small things that um, are nice to kind of learn from someone ahead of time like walking on the left standing on the left of escalators um, putting money in the tray um, taking your shoes off if you go into um, a changing room. Yeah. Stuff like that. I think that's nice to have someone who knows, you know, about that stuff ahead of time to help you through it. But yeah. But it's not too bad. And once you kind of figure out how to work the train system and use Google Maps on it, mm-hmm. it's so easy to get around once you've done it a couple times. Yeah. And there's there's some other, like, cultural politeness things. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't... You don't walk and eat or drink at the same time. So you might go to a convenience store and get something, and then you go outside the convenience store, and there's usually a bench, and you sit on the bench and you eat. And even if it's like a a food that would make perfectly good sense to like walk and eat, like it's just no one does that. Some 
You see it very rarely. Very rarely you'll see someone drink and walk. Mm -hmm. But it's like 0.1%. Oh, but you almost never see it. And it's, it's such a bizarre thing because there's vending machines everywhere. But really, people go to the vending machine and they drink next to the vending machine. And then they put it in the recycling and they leave. I mean, was there more than one time that I used Gaijin powers to get a drink and walk and drink it at the same time because I got things to do when I was thirsty? Yes. But only about half the time. The other times I tried to respect the culture and, and drink next to the drink machine and throw it away. Only when I was going somewhere and it was very cold <laughs> would I buy a hot coffee and drink it while walking. Last night we went to um, the Sento bath. The Sento? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I, I, it was actually after I ended the vlog last night. Mm -hmm. um, suddenly everyone was like, let's go to the bath. And I was like really now it's like nine o'clock and everyone's like no let's go to the bath and i was like all right so we went to the bath and that was fine yeah they had the black water um spa bath and it was like it was like ink like this far down in the water you couldn't see like if you had your hand this far down in the water if this is water and this is my hand you couldn't see like anything it was like that dark I do to uh, ask what the weather is like here. Oh, it's been cold. Well, the first week it there was it was pretty nice, honestly, mm -hmm. but um, it's it's lately it's just been the wind. Like if there wasn't if there wasn't wind today, it would have been a pretty nice day. The wind is just awful. I mean, it's been so so windy in the last few days, and that's <sighs> that's made it miserable. And then yesterday it rained. Yeah, yesterday was miserable. Like all day. Um, it was cold and my feet got wet. Oh, it was awful. Yeah, but otherwise, otherwise, it would have been, it would have been reasonable. Anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. There was 100 bits from a generic juice box who says, I miss seeing your toast. Well, I miss having toast. I, my toast has been replaced with onigiri. Uh, almost every single morning I've been eating onigiri. Because um, I like onigiri. It gives me probably about the same amount of calories as toast. And um, it's easy. I'm, I'm always walking by a 7-Eleven because they're everywhere. So I'm like, ah, I need a snack. <laughs> onigiri time. <laughs> Hot jelly donuts. I get that reference. Oh, man. I, um... It's cold. Well, um, oh, we were talking about the bath. Yeah, I wanted to mention one other thing. Um, when we went to the bath, uh, it was, um, well, we all went to the bath, and I, I think it was uh, me and Alex were talking, and it's a public thing. So me and Alex were talking, and there was um, a Japanese kid. He's probably, like, in high school or something. And uh, he had been sitting, like, across from us, and he heard us talking, so he asked us uh, in English, you know, where we were from. So then we just started talking, and we actually, it was nice. Um, we had a conversation for like probably 15 or 20 minutes. He spoke great English, um, so we'd actually, you know, communicate and stuff. And what, what, was, what was interesting is he was really confused about why we were at the bath, because he's like, you know, foreigners are never here. Like, this is not what foreigners do. And he actually thought we lived in Japan. He was like, do you live, you know, the in four of you. Yeah, do you live in Japan? And we're like, no, 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 we're visiting. He's like, that's just so weird for, um, you know, foreigners to do. But he said it was really cool that we were there mm -hmm. and that we um, were embracing that part of the culture. And uh, he, he thought it was really awesome. And we were like, oh, cool, you know. Thanks. And then he asked if we had been to the penis festival. <laughs> and we said, and we said, well, actually, I wasn't there. You said. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. And I was like, actually, we were. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, tourists really love that thing. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it's was, it was interesting. But um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was cool. Um, there's not a whole lot of opportunities, I think, to talk to people. Because like, in, in Tokyo, everyone's just going every which way a million miles a minute. Um, <gasps> but to actually sit down in a spot where you can relax and there's other people there that, you know, speak your language so you can actually have a, a conversation. That's really neat. That's, that's, that's one of the, the appeals I think of, of the trip actually. So 
I haven't really had any Japanese people speak to me. Mm-hmm. I've had a lot of foreigners come up to me yeah. and ask me where something is or how to do something or it's happened a lot to me. Yeah. Has it happened to you? Um, A little bit, but you're, no offense, although I don't think this is offensive, <laughs> you're very approachable. You're just, you look friendly. I asked Lindsay, I you said. You look friendly and you look very English. So if someone walks up to you, they're they're like, that person is English. I can speak I can speak to them. Well, I asked Lindsay, I said, do I look like I know what I'm doing? Like, what is it? And Lindsay goes, yeah. well, you look kind of determined when we're going places because you, you know looked, where we're going. You're filled with determination. I had a, a German girl come up to me when we were waiting in line for ramen in Kyoto. I think she was Italian. You think she was Italian? I think she was Italian. Uh, I don't know. She had an accent. Mm-hmm. She came up to me and she asked me if this was a good place for ramen. And uh, she was probably like 14. Or 13. Yeah, because her family didn't speak English. No, her parents were off on the side of the the other side of the road and, like, looking at her like, go ask that English person to <laughs> what this restaurant is. <laughs> so she came up to me and asked. And I was like, oh, we haven't been here, but I hear it's good. I, I'm really bad about identifying English people because sometimes I'll see people from far away. Because, mm-hmm. like... I mean, for everywhere we've went, like, it's 99% Japanese, like, even in the touristy bits, and um, there, there's so many times where I'll see someone, I'll be like, that person, that person's English, and then we'll get closer to them, and I'll hear their conversation, and they're French. They're always French. So anytime I think someone's English, they're French. I need to start looking for French people, because they're probably the ones that speak English. There was that family on the train today. They were They were British English. Oh, yeah, they were. Well, those are easy yeah. to, to, to point out because they, they have that very posh mm-hmm. uh, dialect. The lady that helped us with the sake today, mm-hmm. she learned English from a British person. I know. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it was wild. That was It was actually really cool. Yeah, it was. Because she, uh, she was Japanese and she was speaking English to us, but her English, which was at, you know absolutely her second language... It was British. It was British English, and it was so wild. You know, I've mm-hmm. never, I've never heard that before. So, anyway, it was just, it was that I've never heard anything so like that. So that was really, uh, it was really bizarre. I anyway. didn't think about it till just now, but I, I thought about. Oh, it I thought we about it. There. I was like, I was like that. I meant to say something afterwards. Yeah, but... it, it, it was. It's neat. Mm-hmm. Like, like. Like Puma Brattle says, languages are cool. Languages are cool. Dialects are cool. Accents are cool. It's really bizarre when, you know, you expect someone to, like, to sound one way and then they, they sound another. Or there's there's two th- two different things that, like, don't normally mix and then it comes out and you're like, that can happen. Mm-hmm. You know, it's really, it's really cool. Anyway. We should probably we should probably end it because it's getting close to eleven, mm-hmm. and you you've yawned mm-hmm. however many times. It's late and I'm tired, and we've been up and walking. We have been up and walking. How long did we walk today? I don't know. I will look. You will find out. Ooh, your mom sent me a message. <laughs> There's the health app. Is that today? That was today. We walked over ten miles today. Mm-hmm. I can kind of believe it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I think by the end of the trip, I'm, I'm, I feel very confident in saying that we will have walked 50 miles at least because we were averaging about seven to eight for most of the trip. Wednesday wasn't very many. Yeah. There was one day in there that we didn't do a whole lot. Um, Yesterday. One, one, yeah. Rained. One or two days where it was a little less, but for the most part, it's been seven or eight every single day. And we've been here for, you know, 10 days. Some of the days are 10 miles. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've cleared 50 miles on this trip easy. Um, that's a lot of walking. That's a whole lot of walking. Jeez. Anyway. All right. Um, thanks. Thanks to everyone for, uh, for watching again. I appreciate uh, the the bits and the subs. I know we haven't been reading the subs. We will be back to our normal setup on Tuesday. We will be back home. Um, it'll be us. Uh, well, Alex and Haley might. I think. Yeah. Might, I think Alex and Haley will still be there, um, yeah. unless something drastically changes. So they'll probably join us as well. And um, 
I, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I've enjoyed my time here and I still have two more days to enjoy. Um, that being said, I, I am excited to get back to, <laughs> to get back to work and, uh, you know, to get back to the cats. Uh, I miss Sagan and Cap and, um, you know, it, it's, we've gotten pictures from your dad Yeah, and it's, it's always fun to yeah. see what they're up to. It's, it's always a, a good time. Um, so yeah, I, I'm I'm still I'm still enjoying myself. That being said, I, I I am I am very excited to get back to the the normal day to day. And I will not keep this woman up any longer because she's <laughs> she's gonna pass out. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we will see you Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern for normal breakfast stream. Normal from from the house on a computer with normal alerts and music. It's going to feel like it's going to feel like the future, I promise.